Welcome to another edition of Inside the Hashes exclusive interviews. I'm Sam Kirk, joined by Tay Harris of Cedar Town High School. Tay, how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. Excited to talk to you, get down some football, maybe recap your season a little bit. You know, we'll get right into things here. You know, as a 10th grader in 2022, how was it for you, you know, kind of stepping into that spotlight for your team and, you know, really, you know, becoming a well-known, well-rounded type of player? Um, To be honest, it really came natural to me, but it's at the same time, you can't really jeopardize that spotlight when you walk out those those double doors at Cedar Town High School. You can't really do anything to jeopardize that spotlight. You have a target on your back everywhere you go, so you can't really mess that up for yourself. So, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. So how has uh, your recruiting picked up over the last couple months and what did you do what have you been up to since the season end? Um, it just went from here to here. Um, and uh, just a blink of an eye. I picked up a couple O's. Uh, it's just been crazy. Uh, Coach Abram has been helping me out. He's been doing pretty good on that side. And uh, really just on the offseason, really going to track practice every day, not really too much football. Sometimes I run get some uh, drills in, but that's about it. Yeah. So Growing up, how how did you get really introduced to the game of football? Maybe tell me your story behind when you first decided to play. You know who you watched growing up. What kind of what inspired you to you know devote your life to the game this much? Well, I grew up watching Georgia Bulldogs, Atlanta Falcons with my granddad most of the time. So I mean, he really introduced the game to me sometimes, but not really to introduce the game to me. But when I was younger, so I just grew up uh, four years old. Four years old, stuff like that. I mean, man, my first drill. I mean, it just all came down to to me. But my granddad really introduced the game to me. Yeah. So I mean, in the beginning of your career playing wise, were you always, you know, kind of just associated with the defensive side of the ball? Or were you more of a running back? What where they have you to start? Well, when I first started out, my first football practice, I like I just went head first without a helmet one time. So they was like, this kid gonna be a safety. He gonna be on the uh, defensive side of the ball. And so ever since it just took off. But this year I played corner to help our team a little bit better in that, in that spot. So this year I'll be back at safety, back deep. Yeah. No. Uh, can you maybe just tell me a little bit of a difference how you feel at corner compared to safety? And I mean, how do you value the importance of being able to you know play both positions and kind of move around that defense? Um, I'm willing to do anything to help out my team, but corner is it's more like a it's more like you gotta. It's more like you gotta pay attention more to the the wide receiver more than the formation at safety and that safety you're more free back there. So you gotta help out in different ways like the run support at corner. You passing the ball, you can't really get passed on because at corner, if you get bombed on, everybody gonna see that at defensive line. You mess up, not really too much people in the stands gonna see that. They gonna talk to you about that game, so you can't really. You gotta lock in at corner and safety both. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'll kind of. We'll kind of go back to uh, Cedar Town here, but what do you have to say personally about just, you know, the impact of playing in a town like that with so much, you know, football culture? Um, it's really special. It's a small town, small town pride. Um, the number I wear has got a, got a lot behind it. So I, I try to live up to the hype. And, um, don't try to let anybody down. It's it's, it's, a, it's a lot of history down here at Cedar Town. You know, it's football mostly. So we, try, we take that very serious down at Cedar Town. Yeah. So now, you know, looking at different programs and, you know, looking at potential schools, how would you view your potential program? Like if you were just ideally talking about a good fit for you, how would you describe that school? How would you describe that football program? Home. Anybody, anybody that's feel like home, welcome me home. Um, of course, playing time, but number one thing is home. People are welcome me in. Uh, the place where family, family members can see me stuff like that, fly miles, stuff like that. And I really fly or drive one of them just home. It's all around, it's all about who welcomes you, so. Yeah, great answer. Um, we'll kind of just go off in that college route again a little bit here. Georgia had a, you know, amazing draft, just seeing how many of those guys went in round one and early in those rounds. What do you think? Does Georgia have the best talent in football in the, in the nation or it, how do you view it? Of course, I mean, we've got the best program in the nation. I mean, they take it very seriously on that. I mean, like three defensive players in the first round, stuff like that, something like that. Uh, you got quarterback going fourth round, corner guard going fourth round. It's just crazy. So, I mean, they take it very seriously down at the program itself. 
you know, as a multi-sport athlete, how have you used other sports, you know, kind of just to help you improve on the football field? Um, track, I mean, I take it I take it serious. It helps me a lot with my speed and my my acceleration, deceleration, stuff like that. I mean, so I try to I try to correlate them both, both together for track and football. So it helps me a lot with my speed. So Yeah, what no, what are some of your favorite events in track and field? Just trying to uh, of course the hundred. The hundred and four by one. So yeah. I have a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, for sure. Now we'll kinda go back to the football field here. Um how how would you describe your leadership role on defense? You know, are you you a guy that talks and jabs, or are you you more of a guy that just does his thing and kind of lets other people watch? Yeah. Um, I try to be a leader for my team. Anything that help out my team. Um, I I try to communicate as much as I can. Like if I'm not saying nothing, some, something wrong, somebody correct me, stuff like that. I try to be a leader for the team. I try to help out any way possible. I'm not really trying to put nobody down. I'm just trying to help out win. The main focus is winning. So, what do you think the biggest difference for you was? You know, comparing your freshman year with your sophomore year that, that just happened last past year. Um, my freshman year, I really didn't play much. I mean, I'm a freshman, but my sophomore year it really took off. I didn't expect to be where I am right now, but it wasn't my goal as a freshman. Make myself proud in six months. That's what I'm doing. So, I'm trying to keep going. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so now heading into your junior year, what, what kind of expectations do you have for, you know, your program and you individually? Um, I want to win. Me and my team, I want to win. Nothing nothing will make me more happy in the world than winning. So got a lot of guys bought in in the program. I just want to win. Well, what's your plan for the rest of the summer now? Just, you know, whether with, uh, with the team or just by yourself, uh, how do you view training and what are you doing on a week to week basis? Uh, right now, I got state track meet coming up uh, wow. tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. So after that, I'm pretty much on a roll. Not really worried about anything else. I'm on a roll. Yeah, back to football. Um, so, you know, if you're comparing yourself to, you know, any guy in the secondary that we, we've seen in the National Football League or in college, is there a name that comes to mind specifically for you? Or do you kind of just try to do your own thing? Uh, a lot of people, if you know me, uh, I try to say Keely Ringo, but I mean, it's just because of the speed and stuff like that. But yeah. I like his play style, but uh, say Christopher Smith, I mean, I like to hit, not like I start anybody on the Georgia defensive side of the ball, so uh, it's pretty good. How would you describe, like, if you were talking about one part of your game that you think was a bit underappreciated, you know, is there anything that comes to mind, you know? Maybe a thought that you were just going like, hey, like no one really talks about this about my game, but I know I could do this at a very high level. Um, a lot of people really don't know, know but my head coach, coach Evans, that I can really I run routes. I mean, like I can get open out there. So, I mean, with the ball in my hands and free space, which I do play running back, but a lot of people sleep on my receiving part of it. So I can really run routes and get open. So, yeah. What do you think the difference is going to be for you being, you know, what an underclass and playing a huge role in varsity now to being, you know, a junior and senior in your last two years? And what do you expect to make of that role? Um, I want to be known as a young leader, somebody who's going to come in and get the job uh, who bought into the program, see the time football, get the office, see the time football. So I want my teammates to look at me as a young leader, like, like let's ask Tay, like, like, you know what he's doing. I want to come in like I want to make an impact on the team. Like as a leader, I want to win. So everybody knows I want to win. So yeah, now, now Tay, I'll kind of just tie it back to some uh, regular stuff outside of the game. Like, what are you doing for hobby wise? You know, just outside of sports and hey, what are you interested in? Um, I like to watch a lot of Netflix. Sometimes I mean, sometimes I play the game. Not really. I sleep more half the time. I really don't get much sleep sometimes. So yeah, I try to watch Netflix and stuff like that. So. And watch anything uh, recently? Uh, Euphoria. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's going. It's going. Um, <clears throat> no, I'll kind of just we'll, we'll start to wrap it up here. But you know, heading into your last two seasons, is there anything specifically that you think you're going to work on heading into these, heading into your junior year? Anything that you're really going to target to try to improve? Um, of course, I'm going to try to get my stats up. But I mean, like I said, anything to do for the team to win. But I mean. Of course, we're going to try to win. We're going to take it to the Benz this year. The state championship is back at the Benz this year, so we're going to try to win. Um, I'm going to just really try to produce more than I did the year before. So, 
Well, now, last question here, but if you're giving your freshman year self advice now, like, what would you tell him? You know, him not playing a lot, maybe not reaching those expectations you had for your mind. What do you think you would tell that young Tay Harris? Um, be coachable. Uh, don't let don't let your emotions come before you. Like, be coachable. Listen to these guys ahead of you. you. Really need to do that. It'll help you out. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a phenomenal answer, Tay. I, I want to thank you for coming on today. It was great speaking to you. Uh, definitely good. looking forward to see what you do next year, and I wish you the best of luck. Yes, I appreciate you. Thanks, Tay. All right, appreciate it.